What's up guys and welcome to this week's video. So in this week's video, I'm not really going to be doing something on uh, the truck or the car. Uh, I'm going to be doing something that's uh, something I never thought I'd really be doing. Uh, but that is I'm going to be installing this Kempex Click and Go 2 plow on my four-wheeler. Uh, because I was going to buy a snow blower eventually uh, to clean the snow uh, that you see out there. Um, however, for the price of a brand new snowblower, or even a used snowblower, uh, I figure I've already got the bike, which is a Honda, well a 2004 uh, Honda 4Trax AT400. Uh, I figured I've already got the bike, so I might as well just put a plow on it, and it'll be that much easier and a lot funner uh, than using a snowblower. Uh, so I did buy this plow used, however it is in good shape, uh, the guy only had it for one season. Um, so he had originally bent the mount that goes onto the bike, so all I did was buy uh, the mount. So I got the plow for, uh, he was asking for 50 but I got it for 300 uh, and the mount was about $150. So for about $450 uh, I got myself a nice plow uh, for the bike, uh, which is going to serve me uh, for years to come. So like I said, a good snowblower runs you almost $1,000, so screw that, I figured I'd just put a plow on the bike. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and install this on the bike, I'm going to show everything that I'm doing and then just going to show a good old push with the bike uh, in the snow. So stay tuned and here we go. Also for those of you new to the channel, just stop by for the first time, maybe you stumbled upon my video from another video that you've seen or it was suggested in your content, uh, do go ahead and give me a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I post a lot of videos on mostly truck modifications but all kinds of stuff now that has to do with the house as far as the garage build, four wheeler, it's going to be all kinds of stuff. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like this video. Also you know me, well if you're on the channel you know me, uh, but I'm all about LED lighting so I've already went ahead and ordered uh, some LED headlights for the bike just for better visibility because it is dark earlier so I'm going to need some good visibility when I'm plowing the yard. Also thinking of putting some kind of a light bar uh, either in here or in here with some pods on the side here just to uh, illuminate the yard. So it is a universal mount. Uh, it comes with uh, some U-bolts along with a whole bunch of rails and a bunch of notches in them uh, depending on what bike you're installing them on. Uh, again, mine is the 2004 Honda 4Trax 400. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and find the best spot to mount that on the bike. So I've got the bike in the air and right now I'm just trying to measure uh, exactly where because uh, your mount is going to be uh, what kind of clicks into here which is term click and go uh, but where this is going to mount up I want to measure exactly how far back on the bike um, I need to what are you doing I need to measure exactly how far back this is going to click in because I want my winch to have a good angle here on uh, you can either use uh, this ring here or uh, the provided hook on the mount uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure how far back I'm going to put the mount so that that can click into it and like I said the angle isn't too severe. So I went ahead and measured it up, uh, probably going to use that hook there. So from that hook to the end there is 32 inches, uh, which we'll go ahead and get under the bike here, which puts me at about right here. So I'm probably going to mount it right across here because I have some room under here to where I can also put that other little uh, plate. So as you can see uh, I've got it all mounted up under here around the frame. You're going to use these little uh, I'm going to call them tabs, little brackets um, to put around here. Um, I'm going to have to flip this one around actually because this hole has to be over here uh, because you are going to put a bolt through here to wedge these together and then this wedges the whole thing together uh, around the frame. So yeah, and then you put this rail here goes uh, through the frame like, like underneath the frame here and that's what wedges the other side down. Um, so I just figured out since I do have, uh, you can see right there, I do have frame also on this side. Uh, 
I'm not even going to need to use uh, this bracket. This bracket is just if you have a different type of configuration. Um, just going to do like I did right here. Uh, U-bolts here and U-bolts over here. Uh, and then that will be more than strong enough uh, for the mount. Okay, so I was able to get the mount uh, on. It's all tightened. Uh, there's no real torque specs, but it's all tightened down. Uh, once I probably plowed the other a couple times. Go ahead and check, make sure all the bolts are uh, tight again. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like now. So, uh, I did take off the little skid plate that I had here uh, just to be able to move it back a little further. I'm probably going to be able to reinstall it though because it looks like it'll fit. Uh, so, as you can see, I've got everything uh, tightened down. You've got your U uh, bolts along with uh, this other bolt here that just tightens the plate, this little plate here, onto the other one. Uh, so it's nice and solid. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and reinstall that skid plate and we're going to try and attach the plow. As you can see, we've got the mounting bracket under there. I don't know if you can see that, but we're going to go ahead and mount the plow up now. All right, so with a little bit of man handling, uh, was able to get the plow on there, all nice, nice. I believe both sides are on. And we have it there, that side's on. And then over here, just make sure this side's on. And as you can see, it's on, so now I'm gonna attach the winch. There we go, new plow set up, Kimpex click and go too.